Well, I didn't think I was going to be doing a part four for the LABC series, but yep, I am. I am once again back at Los Angeles Valley College. What's up, you guys? Sean Allen here. As you can probably tell, I'm back at Valley. And this is part four of my series. In my last video, I talked about my graduation. And it's kind of funny to mention, but and also pretty exciting, but two days from now, when I'm recording this video, I will be graduating from Cal State Northridge. The reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to talk a little bit more about what happened after my graduation because I stuck around here for like another year before I moved to Cal State Northridge. After I graduated with my associate's degree in media arts, I had to finish up my general education, which I did here, instead of doing it over at CSUN because I would spend a lot more time over at CSUN than I would here. Basically, I stuck around for another year, maybe about another year and a half. I started in the fall of 2012 and finished up in the fall of 2013. I don't remember exactly all of the classes I took, but I do know a couple that I can think of right at the top of my head. One of them is Photography 1 and English 205. English 205 was basically learning about English literature. Let me just say that that class was interesting. Now classes are in session right now, so I can't talk super loudly right now. So, gotta keep a low voice right now. It's actually kind of funny because on this wall there was actually an S. Allen right up here. <laughs> but I didn't work in the business administration, but I thought it was kind of funny. I think I took a picture of it once. But yes, there was actually an S. Allen like right in this area here. It does feel kind of weird to walk down these halls, not as a student, but as an alumni. I'm not even taking classes right now, but my gosh, the smells are still here. This right here is the newsroom where they make the newspaper articles, and right next door to it is the photo lab, and that's where I processed a lot of my photos here at LABC. Yep, to the dark room and offices right there. For the first half of our photography class, we were in one of these bungalows right here. I think it was in this room here. Then when we started processing our photos, we moved across over here to the building. We still went back to the bungalows when we went in for class, but whenever we processed our photos and used like the different chemicals, we went into the laboratory and to the dark room. And the laboratory is that building right there. That is the room where we processed our photos. There's the clock right there. I don't know if you can see it, but the clock is right there. And the chemicals, yep, they're still in there. I don't know if you can see them, but they are still in there. Memories. <laughs> if you guys are viewers of my video series, the design video series, I took a lot of photos during that time when I was in that class. I actually have a whole vlog about it, so go and check it out. This is, of course, the backside of Allied Health and Sciences. It was in here where I took my laboratory classes for my Biology 3 class right down those halls. Now this is the humanities building right here, but directly ahead of me is the former life science building. And since the classes are in session, we could go inside and see room 107, my very first college classroom. I just looked back at the building and it actually is the business journalism building. I said it was humanities, but it's actually business and journalism. So sorry about that, I got that wrong. It's now called emergency services training, but this was formerly the life science building. Wow. This is history right here for me, folks. There it is. My very first college classroom. 107, hey buddy, how are you? Good to see you again. I'm graduating in two days from Cal State Northridge. <laughs> Why am I acting like it's a person? Of course it's not, but still, there it is. That's cool. It was in this building where I took my first broadcasting class and also the English Street, or excuse me, 205 class. And like I said, that class was bizarre. And the reason why I say it was bizarre because we basically sat together in a circle and we talked about our stories that we had to learn in the class. And again, we had like three different books that were all from the same series, parts one, two, and three. Part one was obviously a lot bigger than parts two and three. We actually learned a lot of really cool, interesting stories, including Beowulf. I don't exactly remember which classroom it was, but it was right in there. 
humanities. This is the humanities building right here. This is something I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time. This is where my YouTube career kind of got to start. Guys, I am in the basement of the media arts area of Mark Hall. Looks like classes laying right now. These are the offices right here, number four. This right here, if you guys saw my LABC commercial, it was edited right here in this lab. Well, the updated version. I'm actually planning on doing another version of it very soon, but the very first edition of it was edited right here in room number six in the Media Arts Lab. This is another lab, lab number eight. That was when I took my Media Arts 120 class, which was editing. This classroom right here is where I took a lot of my media arts and cinema courses, right here. This classroom is where I took media arts 101, number 12. That's Eric Swell's in the background. And I'm Roger Rodriguez, you see in the other room. Obviously Eric Swell said is giving his lecture there in the classroom, but I talked to Professor Rodriguez. It was great to see her again. Um, I took her classes for two years of my LABC experience. And... It was wonderful seeing her, and she seemed really pleased to, for me to stop by. It was really nice to see her again. This is not a product placement, but I like Coke Zero. Zero calories. So they still haven't done anything to the old bookstore here, but I don't know why. It dates back to fall semester 2015 still, that's two years ago. Almost two years ago, but still. Ouch. Look at all of the flyers on there. Good lord. <laughs> that is a lot. Now this was something I never got a chance to experience while I was on campus, but this is like the hangout area right here. The bookstore, by the way, is right there. I think they have a cafe, like, somewhere in here. But yeah. The old cafeteria used to be right here. But they tore it down to replace it with this. I mean, honestly, God, does it look like something from Star Wars or Star Trek? <laughs> right down here is where the new Media Arts building is going to be. I'm sure all my professors are excited about that, but it's going to be a few years before it's completely built. But I remember them talking about it for a long time, even when I was taking classes here. This is the area I mentioned in one of my videos. I think it was one of my LABC commercial where I felt like this would have been a great spot to have my actress looking through all the brochures and stuff because that right there used to be the fountain, but it looks like they turned it off. But this is part of the art building. I had never been in here before, but that would have been a really good spot. It made it look like it was a backyard, basically, but nope, it wasn't open. Well, from what I can see, they've definitely leveled out the dirt, and it looks like they're starting to work on the foundation right now. Right there. Wow. It's going to have a basement, too. Oh, my gosh. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. It's almost as exciting as the building of Star Wars land, literally. By the way, if you guys want to do construction updates as to what they're doing here to the Media Arts building, let me know in the comments section down below. For those of you who are actually coming here to LABC, because this is going to be the future home of the Media Arts Group, which I graduated from. What? This thing is going to be huge. Did I forget to mention that it's going to have a gigantic, like, indoor theater? This thing is going to be massive when it's done. This probably has, like, another maybe two years before it's completely built, but still. It looks, so far, pretty cool. I think out of all the major construction work that they've done around here, besides the, the library, this is going to be really impressive. This is on my number one list, guys. I'm not so sure about this building here because, you know, I wasn't involved in that. I didn't really see it when it was being constructed. It actually was constructed while I was at Cal State Northridge, so never really got a, an experience to check it out. But this right here, that's cool for media arts. If I was still doing YouTube videos, but I hadn't gone to college yet, but I was planning on coming to college here with that thing open, 
my gosh. <laughs> I would have been like head over heels over that place because it looks like it's going to be pretty impressive. Right over there is where I took Media Arts 1, uh, 115. That's where I did cinematography. So like I said before in one of my previous videos about LABC, a lot of history was made, well in terms of my history, right here. Many years ago before this was all turned into a little grass area, they used to have the graduation ceremonies out here, I think, because this was all just cement, and the flagpole used to be over there, instead of right there. But, this right here, folks, is quite an amazing campus. If you're looking for a good community college, this is it. Los Angeles Valley College, your future begins here. So this is it, folks. This is my last video in the school year videos for LABC. And it's, it was a fun experience being here at Los Angeles Valley College. Really fun experience. I made a lot of great friends. A lot of my professors are my friends. They follow me on all sorts of social media. This was a great experience. Now, during my last semester here at Los Angeles Valley College, I was also taking my first classes at Cal State Northridge. Yes, I was ending my days at Valley while at the same time taking classes for the first time at CSUN during the same semester, fall 2013. And that's where we're gonna pick up our story in the next video at Cal State Northridge. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these videos, hit the thumbs up button. It is really appreciated. That's it from Los Angeles Valley College. I'll be back some other time. If you guys want to do construction updates about what's going on here at the Media Arts Building, let me know in the comments section down below. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. End scene. And that's a wrap.